Welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to show you guys how to mask off stairs, specifically carpet stairs. So this might seem pretty straightforward, right? Like, you know, you just keep putting chunks of tape on here and, um, and then paint away. But there is a little bit of technique to it to make sure you do a really nice job. So these stairs are in rough shape. When you look at the wall all the way around here, so what originally happened was before we moved in here, they left the carpet in and they painted around everything with the old carpet in and then the new carpet was a thinner carpet. So now we've got this line around the whole place that we've had for you know the last six years that we've lived here. So I wanna make sure that I do a really nice tape job and really tuck it down in under so that we can get at some of that nasty stuff and you know I can do a nice paint job. So getting right to it, let me show you guys some of the techniques for this. Okay, so it is pretty simple. I mean, I'm just gonna tear off a chunk of this, you know, about the height of the steps roughly. But what I'm really going to make sure of is, so I'm not pushing it against the wall. I'm actually going a little bit further than the wall. So maybe about an eighth of an inch past the wall. And so the technique here comes in that we're going to shove that right in between the carpet and the wall. So that's the real important thing. And then I get a putty knife and I really make sure that it's in there. So like actually fold it over. So I almost put too much there, but that's the secret. That's the ticket to doing a really good job is actually getting the tape folded right over in there. And then that way you can make those repairs and you can paint pretty indiscriminately in here. You know, you can kind of really slop the paint away. And then when you pull that tape off, then the carpet fluffs back up a little bit and you can't see that line, you know, your paint line that you left. Unlike the other painter left me when they painted over the old carpet. I'm not as worried about these edges because they're not as beat up. And of course it's hard to actually go over the edge in a corner like this. But anyways, yep, I'm gonna take another chunk right about that long. Gonna do the same thing, go to the corner and try to overlap it, like I said, about an eighth of an inch or so. And as I get closer to here, it gets a little bit harder. But push right down with my fingers and then take a putty knife, not too sharp a one. This is an old dull worn in one. That way it can actually slide the tape under. And so there we go. I'm gonna really easily be able to paint right up to that edge and it's not gonna be a problem. So I thought I was done here and I was gonna to get to just show you guys the glory shot, but um, I did mention that you could paint indiscriminately and I did and it kind of came back to bite me a little bit. So I managed to paint the tape to the wall because I was just rushing and being a little bit sloppy. So of course, once we pull the tape off, we're gonna be left with a line and we're gonna also see the unpainted area underneath. So I do need to do a quick little bit more work here before I can finish up. Now, fortunately, I haven't done my final coat. If I had done my final coat, I would have a problem here, but I am still on my uh, first coat. So I'm just gonna touch up this little space by the steps. We're gonna make it all pretty and I'll show you guys how to do that. All right, we're just gonna have to do the basic carpet guard method, which is like forcing it down like this and then painting it under here. Now it's not gonna make, 
it look totally perfect because I wasn't able to get in there and finish it super nicely. But what it is going to do is stop me from at least having, you know, a bunch of uh, white unpainted drywall mud underneath there. So hopefully this works out real nice. <laughs> All right, so yeah, this is going to be far from perfect, but sometimes when you're coming in after and just trying to clean something up the best you can, you can't always get it perfect. So we have to settle with a whole lot better than what was there in the first place. And you got to wipe off your carpet guard, putty knife, whatever it is you're using between every coat. Otherwise, you're going to put that paint on the carpet. There we go. Make sure there's no ugly brush lines. Okay, so that should work a lot better. But um, here, I'm going to give you guys a little tip, like some order of operations for if you do have to paint around carpet in a stairwell. So ideally, like under absolutely ideal circumstances, what you want is you want to have a first coat on the walls before the carpet guys come in. And then after the carpet guys come in, do your final coat because that way you'll have had paint going right in behind. And you might only have to do some minor repairs, touch-ups from when they scuff the walls a little bit. Um, even better is if you use an actual skirt board. So if you're installing a skirt board before the carpet, which you should never install a skirt board after carpet, that's ridiculous. But the first thing you need to do is get a good primer coat and even better yet would be to get a first coat on top of that before you install it. So that way it's gonna be all white or whatever your paint color is when the carpet goes in and then you tape off the carpet and instead of actually like mashing the paint into the tape like I did here and making that mistake, then what you do is you just cut in as close to your tape as possible without getting the tape in between the wall and the, did I say the tape? Without getting the paint in between the wall and the tape. So that's the best practice for painting around carpet in the stairwell. Anyways, I gotta get the final coat on all this and then we'll pull off the tape and see how it looks, if it's acceptable or not. Okay, so I've pulled the tape off the other side and I'm super happy with the results but I haven't pulled it off of this side because this was the ugliest one and that's the one I chose to film for you guys. So let's take a look and uh, see how it is and I'll show you guys how to pull the tape off and what to look out for. Okay, when pulling off this tape, what you really wanna do is like push it down to get any of the paint that's adhered to it to release. So do that first before you start pulling it up and that makes it way easier to not have the tape start to tear. And then you have to pull up a little strip. Okay, let's see. Got some of these fibers to cut off, but that's about it. Oh, there's that tearing that it does sometimes. Super annoying. You just gotta work with it though. And then the little bits are super annoying. I just try and get in there with my knife and my fingers, just pull it out like that. But then we got these, which suck. Okay, but overall I'm super happy with that. And it's starting to tear up there, so I'm gonna come back down. There we go, more carpet fibers. But no, that actually looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. That's the worst one. All right, let's just do this one last more because uh, you got to admit, it's pretty satisfying. So like I said, you know, make sure that you're getting the tape not adhered anymore. And then I kind of pull it up carefully to try and get those edges. But no, I'm happy with that. Like if I paid somebody to do this job and this was the result, I would be really happy with what they did. So that's usually how I try and judge my work. So if I really nitpick, you know, I mean, sure. But you guys saw what that looked like before. And then, you know, when you get back and look at it from here, that's a solid job. And that's usually all I'm ever gonna look at it from is back here. 
walking up and down the stairs. And I'm really happy with how that looks. All right, that's it. That's how to protect the carpet on your stairs when painting, how to pull the tape off. And um, yeah, maybe one of these days I have another stairwell upstairs. Maybe one of these days we will do a second one and I'll show you guys the process of painting it. And maybe I can refine the steps even a little bit better and make an even better video. But for now, we don't have to do the taping one again because that one's done. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hopefully you guys got something out of this. Hopefully um, you're going to get some nice crisp lines around your carpeted steps. So thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. I think that's the third time I said that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to enjoy this and how good it looks now because um, as soon as the vacuum starts smashing against that drywall, it's not going to look like this for much longer. Oh well. That's why I always say drywall is a crappy product. Anyways, I've been meaning to close this video out, not ramble at you. So till the next video.